Hello, hello. Good evening, YouTube family and friends. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Y'all, please help me get up to a thousand subscribers, okay? I am trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. I'm right now at 535. I'm now at 535. I want to thank y'all that have already subscribed to my channel. I want to thank you guys from a genuine place in my heart. Okay? I really thank y'all. I really thank y'all for the 535 subscribers that I have. But I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Okay? So anyway, y'all, I want to talk to y'all about something, Lord. We did not already talk, discuss this. We did not already discuss this. But like I told y'all, one thing about my family, my family, they don't believe in stuff like this. They don't believe in doing stuff like this. They, they believe this is dangerous. And it could be. It really could be dangerous. But at the same time, let me. I, I, what I want to say is... In order to get what you want in life, you have to make some sacrifices, okay? You really have to make some sacrifices. I hope y'all can hear um, over these trucks because y'all know these trucks be leaving their uh, motor things running. And I tried to pull off a little farther from them so that I could do this video. But this far as I want to go, okay? Because, just because, okay? But anyway, y'all, um, oh, first of all, um, uh, some of y'all that was writing me yesterday, uh, when I was saying how hot it was, y'all was right. I didn't go to a restaurant, but what I did do, when I got off work, I went immediately to Planet Fitness, and ugh, I just had to do some little extra workouts, y'all, but I kept taking breaks in between, and as I was taking the breaks in between, then I was still at bed, okay, so... Which meaning breaks, meaning like 10 minutes apart, just so I can sit in there as long as I did, right? Because I, I get off work at um, at 3.30. I get off work at 3.30, so when I got off work, I went immediately. Well, I went to QT's first, filled my cup up with ice, and then I went over to Planet Fitness. And I was I sat there for a minute before I uh, changed clothes into my workout clothes. I just sat there for a few minutes. And after I sat there for a minute, then I went and started working out. Okay, so that was better because now I just got out. I just showered there and I just came on over here to the spot where I'll be tonight. So, and it's cool. You know, it's not hot. So that's what I'm going to start doing every day. Lord, that means I'm just really going to have. That's all right because I'm going to be so fine for the summer. Just watch. I'm going to be so fine for the summer. Yeah. So. But anyway, let's get into it. So, in order to get what you want in life, you have to make some sacrifices. Okay? People don't understand that. Um, most, everybody handles things differently. Everybody, I appreciate my family, God in heaven knows I do. I love them so much. I love my family so very much. And those of you who's extra concerned about me, then I, you know, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. But y'all, some things, everybody is not the same. Everybody is not the same. Everybody's blessings are not the same. You know, and most, some people get their blessings before others. Some people's blessings are different than others. You know, everything don't work out the same. What works for you may not work for me. And what works for me may not work for you. You know, so, um, trust and believe you mean, before I decided to do this, to live in my truck, I thought about everything. I thought about everything. I, I even thought about, I thought of, I just thought about everything before I decided to do this. Never in my life have I ever had to live like this. And... I never planned to. I never had no intentions to. But like I said, for years, I have always said, you know, one thing about my intuition is real, real strong. So actually, y'all, to be honest, and 
God knows this. My kids can vouch for this. I have always, I actually saw this in the future. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I saw this in the future with me living in my truck. But, and the reason why I say I saw it in the future is because for years I have been always saying, talking about living in my car, living in my car. And then one time I had an expedition <coughs> a couple of years ago. I had an expedition. When I bought the expedition, I told my kids then, oh, we this just enough, this the right size for me to live in. You know, and like I said, it's always been my daughter. She the first one that always got something to say. And she the first one, you know, she, she always got something to say. When I say I'm going to live in my, even when I said about living in my cars. And when I, I always talk about living in my truck. So when I bought this truck, I had said it, you know, but I did not know for sure. I mean, when I got this truck, I said the same thing, you know, but I didn't know that. You know, I didn't think about what's going on right now at the time I said it, but I just said it when I got it, when I bought it. So, you know, I guess I always had saw me living in a uh, living in a truck or a car. I always seen it because I've been talking about it for years, for years. But anyway, sometimes you have to make sacrifices, y'all. You have to sacrifice for what you want because, let me tell you, for one, my daughter, she works at Walmart. My, the one that went to college, y'all, it's going to rain and it, it, the breeze is going and it is feeling so good. But my daughter, she working at Walmart, the one that's in college. She works full time at Walmart. She go, she go, she's in college, so she goes to classes every day and then she work at night. She work from 10 at night to 6 in the morning. Then she have classes at 9 in the morning. So she's making sacrifices as well. I'm not the only one making sacrifices for her. She's making sacrifices for her too. But my baby's in college, y'all. She's Her major is... Her major is... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, criminal justice. Her major is criminal justice. Her minor is forensic science. Now, she wants to be a lawyer. And if she don't be a lawyer, then she want to be whatever you call the forensic science people, whatever that is. Um, so that's what she's going to college for. Now, she sacrificing for herself as well. Like I said, she's working full time at Walmart. Okay, 10 at night to 6 in the morning. Um, she have a 5 p.m. class in the evening time. So when she get off there, she's barely getting sleep. You know, she's barely getting sleep because she take her books and stuff to, um, she take her books and stuff to work with her. So she's studying at work when she, while she's at work and also whatever time she have in between, she's studying. And through all of that, she's working at night. So that's her sacrifice that she's making for herself. And this is my sacrifice that I'm doing to help her because if she becomes, she want to go to school, whatever she becomes, she become her lawyer or she become friends. I, I want to be able to say that I, I'm biting my tongue. I want to be able to say that I had a hand in that. There's a lot of parents that don't even give a damn. They just let their kids go to college and that's just that. But then, hey, that's them. That has nothing to do with me. But I care about mine. I love my daughter to death and I'm sacrificing for my daughter. There is homeless people. There, there's homeless people out here on the streets or whatever, you know, and they, they live in how they live. But I don't consider myself homeless. I do not because I don't consider myself homeless because I chose to do this. I chose to do this. I don't drink. I'm not an alcoholic at all whatsoever. I don't do no type of drugs. I don't even smoke cigarettes. I don't go to clubs. On the weekends, I got my dumb ass sitting right here when the weekends come. I have a friend girl. I have a friend girl. She goes out every weekend. And she calls me. Uh, we met because her daughter was also a dancing doll. So us DDP parents um, all used to get together. And we all used to go out to eat. We, we used to do things. So... 
I'm, since I'm back in Georgia, she called me numerous times, almost every weekend. And I'll tell her, you know, well, during the weekdays, whatever. And I'll tell her, yeah, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. I never go. I never go. Because I'm not interested in going to clubs and stuff. But she want me to go so bad. Even even she just called me a couple of days ago and want me to go swear with her this weekend. I don't know if I will because, for one, my hair needs to be done, y'all. That's why I got this rag on. My hair is, oh, God, it needs to be done so bad. Ever since my baby been gone to school, I mean, you know, my hair ain't been done over. And it, it been need to be done over even before she went. But y'all, in order to have things, I feel this the way I feel. I don't know about nobody else. However, everybody else feel that's that's how y'all feel. Everybody has it to each his own. Everybody has an opinion, and and you so righteous to it, you know. But the way I look at it, and it's different for everybody. Like I say, the way I look at it is like if you want something in life, you have to sacrifice for it. You have to sacrifice for it. Like I say, everybody, everybody blessings come different. Some people don't have to live like this in order to pay for their kids for college or whatever. And also, not just that, like I said, I'm trying to have my business open up by January. I'm trying to have my business open by January. So, I'm talking about with everything. I'm even finna go in tomorrow, either tomorrow or Saturday, I'm going to get a bigger storage. So I can go ahead on the store buying my supplies so that I can put it in the storage. I um, The storage I have is not big enough for me to put nothing else in. So I got to get a bigger storage so I can start putting some of the supplies in like every weekend. Now, I have a cleaning business. That's that's I already have my LLC and I already have my EIN number for the cleaning business. The name of it is Miss Meeks Cleaning Service. So... I I got all of that part, but um I don't I want to get all the supplies before I start being able and I want to be able to hire people. I don't want to go do the cleaning. I will I will to start off with I will, but I don't want to do the cleaning. I wants to be the boss. I wants to be the boss of which is I am. I'm already ready for it, y'all. Miss Neeks. Bebop's first. Bebop is my mom. Miss Neeks, Bebop's first CEO. That's my company. I am the owner of Miss Neeks Cleaning Service. Okay, so I'm doing what I have to do. I have a goal. I have a goal, y'all. I, I got a um a, a whiteboard thing that has the um you know that you write your you know your goals and stuff down on there. Whatever I have, one of those. So my goal is to have my cleaning service open up by January of uh, 2023. On my mom's birthday is the day that I plan on launching it. Okay, so it is for my daughter and, and it's also for myself as well what I'm trying to do. Now, the way I look at it, when you're paying rent and you're paying bills, okay, you're paying rent. I'm going to just say, like, I'm going to just say $1,000 a month. I'm just going to say that. I know rent is higher, and most places you may start off paying like nine something. So I'm just going to say 1000 Just for instance, $1,000 rent. And this is not for everybody, but it's for me. $1,000 rent. Okay, you got your light bill, whatever it may run. You got your... um. Most times it's be just a light bill because I, I basically get apartments just because I don't want to pay the water and gas. So I'm just going to say light bill. You got your light bill. You have your cell phone bill. Um, You have your your vehicle insurance, your automobile insurance. You have grocery. You have um household supplies you have to uh buy. You also have personal hygiene that you have to get. And, you know, just stuff like that. Gas in your car, you know. Now, if you're trying to open up a business or whatever, you're trying to save money, how can you save when you got all these extra stuff to do? You know what I'm saying? You got all this extra stuff to do. 
majority of the people in this world is working a job just to cover their rent and bills. They have nothing left over for themselves. You know, so y'all got to understand that I know exactly what I'm doing. I am in my right mind. My mind ain't gone yet. You know, I hope it never leaves. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying my mind is not gone, y'all. I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm very well protected up in here. Now, my niece was telling me last night, you in the opening. Because she just found out last night that I was staying in my truck. She watched, she went to my YouTube channel and she watched some of my videos. So she texted me, y'all, and she, she texted me and said, T. And I'm like, huh? <clears throat> she said, why on all your videos, you in your truck? Like that. And then I said, and then I explained to her what was going on. She was so upset, y'all. She was upset. She was upset. She was upset. She was going off. She was going off, y'all. But, uh, and I was just telling her, you know, baby, you could just calm down because whatever you're saying, I say I understand everything you're saying, but you could calm down with this because I'm not, I'm not finna go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna stay right here. And she was telling me that I could have went to a uh, shelter and I told her I don't, I didn't want to go to a shelter. I say it crossed my mind, but I didn't want to go to a shelter. And then she was saying, because you stand, you in the opening, you stand in your car, whatever, somebody can easily come and bust them little windows out and do this. But I say, can't they bust your windows out in a house? Can't they bust your windows out in apartments? Like that or whatever. She told me, yeah, but you out in the opening. It don't matter. People, houses and stuff get broken into, you know, so it doesn't matter. Then she said, because, um. You shouldn't be like that. You should be somewhere with a roof over your head. I said, so do trucks and cars have roofs or, or not? You know, yes, they, they do. They have roofs. If it rained right now, I could roll these windows up, baby, and I'll be in here and would not get wet. Yes, people, I thought about all that. People can't break your culture, but I'm very well protected in this car. I'm very well protected physically and spiritually. Physically and spiritually, I'm very well protected in this car. I mean, in this truck. You know? So, in order to get what you want, you have to go and get it by any means necessary. And I, I am, I'm going to just say half a century years old, y'all. Half a century years old. Y'all can guess that however, whatever y'all want to say. But I do not plan on passing wherever I go and not leave nothing, nothing. And to say that I've been working since I was 16 years old, I already don't have shit to show that I've been working since I was 16 years old. I don't have anything to show y'all, nothing. So I refuse to leave here without nothing. The lit cleaning service is just the lit cleaning service. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, to go do Airbnbs, um, anything, houses, apartments, um, move in, move out, you know, uh, general cleaning, standard cleaning, um, construction cleanup, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just want this cleaning service. I want people to work for me. You know, so I have to do what I have to do. I want my baby to graduate college. She wants to go. I, I told her not to go. I tried to make her stay, you know what I'm saying? But she insisted on, you know, going to college. So who am I to try to stop her? Yes, I'm her mom. But at the end of the day, this is what she wants to do. Why should I stop her dream? Because I didn't do what I was supposed to do as a parent to save up money in college and all that because I didn't think I needed it. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's, she's, uh, her financial aid did not cover her 100% because she graduated high school in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're in, well, we was in Texas already when she was already going to college. So they, uh, consider her as an out of state student. So with out-of-state students, they don't cover out-of-state students 100%. They only give you half no matter what the parent income is. So the portion that they want the parent to pay a month, they say they base it off the parent's income. 
you know. But to me, little old bitty uh seventeen thousand hour baby, I'm 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 a single parent. Her father is deceased. And if he was alive, it'd still be the same. Wouldn't she be changed? Wouldn't she be changed? So that's my baby. That's my baby. And I I am doing this um uh, the way I feel the need to do it. You know, I know how my family is. I already knew I was gonna hear a lot of um backlash about this. I knew it. I knew how my family was already from the beginning. And guess what? Ain't none of us got a pot to piss in. None of us. None of us. Just like I was telling my niece last night, I was like, Rika, I was like, um, I say everybody has something to say about the way that I chose to be able to um to be able to uh pay for Josh and A's college. Everybody got something to say about it. I say, but and now family member, which is I said in the beginning, I don't I don't need nobody, I'm not asking nobody for nothing. I'm not asking nobody for anything. But whoever wanna do whatever, you welcome to it. And I would greatly appreciate it. But um she she so I told her I said uh Every family member that has said something, but ain't no, you know, about me living in my car or whatever because of what I'm trying to do. But ain't nobody said, ain't nobody got together as many of us that it is. Ain't nobody said, uh, we'll all put together and pay $20 a month, you know what I'm saying, to help you with Josh and A's school. Now, I really don't need nothing, but I'm just saying, once I explain to y'all what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, I want y'all to just leave it at that. Just leave it at that. Because the more that you talk, then I'm gonna be saying, well, what if y'all so concerned and this is the way I feel like I need to do it? Ain't nobody volunteered no money. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody volunteered no money. So just leave it at whatever I tell y'all to read my purpose of doing this. Just leave it at that. I love my family to death. I love them to death. And I was already expecting this. I was already expecting this. But y'all know one thing, though. Y'all know once my mind is set, if my mind is set. I want to tell y'all some people who have became famous by being home. You know, they was homeless before they became famous. But they was homeless in order to get where they are today. Now, I'm not trying to be a celebrity or nothing like that. I just want a little old cleaning service, y'all. A little cleaning service. I want a little office building. You know, I I I don't want to. I, I'm if I had to start from out of my car, I would do that. But I also, I really want a little office building, and I want an office building. I want to be able to live in my office building and work out of my office. You know, um, that's just how much I give a damn about a house. You know what I'm saying? Or a uh, uh, building. And yes, I may have to be paying rent for my office, but I want it. I want an office, and right now I'm not ready to pay for it right now at this minute which is why i'm doing this you know but some people who was i wrote this last night it was dark as hell y'all so uh, let me see i don't even know how i wrote this it, i thought i would be able to understand it because it was in the dark last night i only used this little bitty light and you can't even see this light but anyway halle berry was homeless um halle berry was homeless before she became um before she became famous she was not homeless on the street but she lived in a shelter she was in a, she was living in a shelter um j-lo j-lo Mom wanted her to go to college, but J Lo didn't want to go to college. J Lo, uh, when she graduated high school, she wanted to go and be she wanted to go and be a dancer, and her mom didn't want her to. Her mom wanted her to go to college, but J Lo ran away from home and went to a dance studio, and she lived in that dance studio until she um, was able to, you know, do better. But J Lo was homeless and stayed in the um, dance studio for a while. She slept 
on the couch in a dance studio. Okay, before she became famous. Um, I didn't even look up her. I need to look her up. But anyway, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish was homeless before she made her big hit in the comedy. Tiffany Haddish lived in her car. Tiffany Haddish, everything that she had that she owned was inside of her car. Tiffany Haddish said, um, she said she lived in, in her car for a while while achieving her goal. When she had, um, she had some rehearsals and practices and stuff like that. She said she used to pull up to them real late after everybody went in or whatever so that nobody would be able to see her stuff inside of her car because everything she had in there, in her car, you know, uh, and then she said, she said Kevin Hart told her, had asked her, you living in your car? And she told, I guess Kevin Hart must have seen, well, you know, saw her stuff in her car or whatever. Kevin, I mean, and Kevin Hart asked her, you living in your car? And she was like, yeah, I guess, you know. And then Kevin Hart told her she can't live like that or whatever. And he gave her $300 to go and get her a room. And then he told her to go and write down goals and plans of what she wants for her future or whatever. And he told her she have to work on it. Now, $300 is only going to get you one week in a room. So whatever happened after that, I have no idea. But anyway, before Kevin Hart did that, Tiffany Haddish was living in her car, you know, uh, with all of her things in it. There was this one lady, her name was Ella Fitzgerald, but this was so many years ago, y'all. This 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 was like before my grandma and them time or whatever. I didn't write down no dates or nothing like that. That's all I want to say because it was dark. And look how I was writing it, y'all. Look, I couldn't even see. This is not how I write, but this is what I was writing because it was dark. But anyway, this lady named Ella Fitzgerald, she, um... She was a dancer and a singer. She went through hell, y'all. This lady went through hell. Y'all y'all can look her up. Because I, I didn't write a lot about her. But anyway, her name is Ella Fitzgerald. She was a singer and a dancer. She went to... Uh, she went and entered... Um, first of all, she, she was a jazz singer. She was the first African-American woman to receive a Grammy. She was the first african-american woman to receive a grammy this lady was homeless for years and she went through hell y'all but she how she ended up getting her breakthrough which is even after this she still went through hell before she finally got her breakthrough 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 but anyway she went and entered a talent show at the apollo theater the people when she first because she was homeless and lived on the streets when she went to enter that uh, talent show at the Apollo Theater, she went looking raggedy. She went looking homeless because she was homeless. She was looking dirty, raggedy, unclean, very unkept, you know, all of that. But she believed in herself and she knew what she wanted to do. She had a dream. She had a passion for music. Had she not went to this talent show, she would have never been noticed. You know what I'm saying? She would have never been noticed. When the people who first went up that day, they first went off of her appearance. They had not heard her sing yet. So they were going off of her appearance when she first walked in there. You know, when she first walked up onto the stage. So, you know, of course, they wasn't, you know, feeling her or whatever. But once she started singing, things were different. But they still was judging her off of what she looked like. So for a while, she was doing things like she was even going to audition for different people. Although she could sing her butt off, they didn't want to deal with her because of her appearance, because she was homeless and she looked homeless. She had no clothes or nothing, you know, but she still believed in herself. She knew she could sing. You know, so she kept trying to go. She kept up with it. That that was her passion. That was her dream. That was her way out. You know, that was her way from being homeless. 
So you never know what may come out. I, I, I have plans on and, and because how everybody is, how everybody feel about this, you think I'm just gonna give up and just say, okay, fuck my uh cleaning service. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, let me go on and rent me a house or apartment or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then just give up. No, because of how my family is uh, looking at how I have to do what I have to do, that just making me go harder and want, get, want to work on this even more, you know, because I'd be damned if I give up now because y'all already don't believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already don't believe in my little cleaning service y'all already don't believe in it because you know why because our family ain't never had shit our family ain't never had shit never had nothing our great grandmama now um my great grandmother did everything with her hands that she could do with her hands you know what i'm saying and she didn't have nothing, but she did have her house because her husband built their the house that we all was raised in and grew up in. Her husband built that house with his own two hands by himself. We all were raised in their house. You know, it was five of us as far as the great grands. It was five of us. And we all was raised in their house. You know, um, but other than that, other than that house, what did my great grandmother have to show? Nothing. That was her house. That's the only thing she had. Other, other than that, she didn't have nothing. My grandmother, which is her daughter, had nothing. Left here, had nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, my mom left here, ain't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not, nothing to call her own. My auntie left here and ain't have nothing so you know th and that's why our family feel that you know what i'm saying we don't have to do nothing we we all just will need to work and go you know what i'm saying work and die and don't have nothing no i'm not gonna do that i'm not going to do that what however i see fit to pay for my baby college help her pay for her college and to get my business started off the ground. I'm going to do that. If it takes me to stay in this truck, I'm going to do that. And because nobody believes in me, not that really, I know they're going to say, it ain't that we don't believe in you, it's just that we feel like it's a better way. No, there's not a better way. This is the only way that I see fit. I, I could go to a shelter, but I don't want to go to a shelter. And the majority of the shelters anyway don't allow you to have vehicles. You know, um, yeah, a lot of them don't allow you to even have vehicles. So where would my truck be? You know, uh, my truck, it, it, no. And also, what else? Um, then my niece said about uh, weekly rooms and stuff. No, weekly rooms, baby, no. I'm not saving no money by paying weekly rooms. I'm not saving no money. I would not be saving money. And then even in a shelter, I would still have to pay for the shelter because um, when you work, they have you to pay pay a little percentage for staying there. So, anyway, if you had the right mindset while you're homeless, you can do what you what you what your goal is or what your dream is. You can do it. And I plan on doing it. I love y'all very, very much. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to stick this out. And I am going to save. I haven't really saved up nothing right now. Because every week I'm sending something to my daughter's school for her college. Not money as far as the payment that I have to pay. But to get her uh, dorm room set up. You know. Um, which I still have the stuff. Some of the, I have some of the stuff. Some of the stuff we gave away. I still have some of the stuff, but uh, in storage. So every week or whatever, I'm getting stuff and I'm mailing it to her. You know, um, and I gotta pay to mail it off to her. But uh, yeah, y'all, y'all just let me do what I do. Y'all know I'm stubborn, baby. I'm a Sagittarius. I am a Sagittarius, and I am. 
I am I'm I, I am the Sagittarius. I'm just gonna put it like that. I am the Sagittarius. Don't play with me, y'all. Y'all know I ain't playing no games. Y'all know that. And y'all already know that I'm stubborn and I am going to do what I have to do. Whatever comes to my mind, it is it's it's as good as done. And this is done. You know what I'm saying? This is done, y'all. This is a done deal. I'm finna be right here doing this. If anybody want to help, I would so gladly give y'all my daughter's cash app number. I mean, I, <laughs> I would gladly give y'all her cash app, which is, there is one, um, one subscriber asked for my baby cash app. But y'all, I really don't want anything. But if God put it on your heart, I'm not going to let you stop your blessing. You know, I'm not going to, um... I'm not going to have you to stop your blessing, but if anybody want to help my family, <laughs> this goes to y'all. But this also goes to whoever, whoever want to help. If God put it on your heart to help, and, you know, y'all can ask me for the cash app, and I will greatly, gladly give um, her a cash app, and y'all can send it to her. And pr I promise you she will send it to the school. Because even when she got her grant last year, she didn't even get her grant. She put her whole grant toward her uh, payment thing. She put her whole grant. Oh, hell, there go a walls. Oh! Oh! Let me... Hold on, y'all. Because, baby, don't try to build no nest on my... Okay, I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Did y'all? I hope y'all ain't see my butt, cause my pajamas. I, I pulled these little old bitty old pajama shorts. Lord, I'm scared to roll the window down. I need to put that little net thing up. I need to put that little net thing up, baby. I don't want that walls up in here. But, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I would gladly. Uh, I, I will set her. Um, cash app if anybody if anybody want to help y'all just let me know if anybody feel free just let me know but my family if y'all concerned about me living like this y'all help me pay for her y'all add twenty dollars a month y'all all get together add twenty dollars a month and then i won't have to live like this but y'all know y'all know me y'all know this is me but um y'all okay i'm going to go oh about to let my battery die out here and won't be able to go to work in the morning. But okay, y'all, I just wanted to vent that to y'all and let y'all know my niece, baby, but my niece was going off, baby. My niece was going off. She was going off on her auntie, baby. Yes, she was. Yes, she was, baby. She was so upset. She was so upset she even hung up on me. And then I kept calling her back. She didn't even answer her phone back. Then I texted her. She wasn't replying to my texts. But then this morning when I got ready for work, I had texted her. She texted me back this morning. But um, I love my family. Y'all love y'all to death. But y'all already know how I am. So, here I am. Okay? I love y'all. I love all y'all subscribers as well. I really appreciate y'all from a genuine place in my heart. For getting me up to 535, but I need to be up to a thousand subscribers, y'all. A thousand subscribers. But uh y'all, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. I promise you it would not hurt you to hit that like button. It be more viewers than likes. You know, y'all, it's not gonna hurt y'all to hit that like button. So comment in the comment section down below as well, y'all. Okay? So I will talk to y'all. Y'all ain't got on no bra. I know y'all can tell I ain't got on no bra. I be so sick of these trucks, y'all. I ain't lying. I'm just right here in this, right here, right now by these trucks. But once I get ready 
you know, um, put all my windows and everything up, then I move over closer to where the all the lights are shining. There, baby, I'll go. I guess directly under the light, directly under the light. But I'm just over here right now because people are going in and out of the store and all of that kind of stuff like that. So I'm just over here. But anyway, y'all, I will talk to y'all later. I will talk to y'all later. Okay? Love y'all. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed. Talk to y'all later. Bye.